traders welcome back to the traveling trader what is going on traders welcome back to the traveling trader in this video we're going to be talking about the 10k challenge this is something that i discussed in the last couple of videos and you guys were really excited about this idea but basically i wiped out an entire brokerage account for you guys loaded it with just ten thousand dollars and we're going to see how we can fare with this portfolio and grow it over the long term now there are a few reasons why i'm doing this one obviously it's fun but two because a lot of us who have been trading for a long time we have the advantage of time in the market remember time in the market beats timing the market so for me for instance i've been in the market for almost 20 years you can imagine what my portfolio size is like and it's very easy for me to be apathetic to something like tesla when it drops from 800 to 700 to 600 because i bought tesla under 100 dollars not everybody's in this position especially new traders it could be very discouraging for you guys and the last thing that i want to do is sound preachy and privileged with my portfolio size that is not the goal of this channel the goal of this channel is to make sure that we keep harping on sound trading principles and regardless of portfolio size you can institute these and should be instituting these regularly now i started this project and this portfolio as you can see here from the discord on march 25th which is six days before this recording and i update you guys on every single purchase the number of shares the price point that i got it at and if you want to follow along with the real-time alerts and everything sign up to our trading group below otherwise i will keep making regular video updates and show you guys the progress of this portfolio i'm going to be leaving the hashtag 10k challenge on every video that i produce that is based on this topic if you take a look at the portfolio now six days later we're up a respectable two and a half percent at 10,300, just using sound trading principles now another reason that i did it with ten thousand dollars is because i wanted to limit myself with as many constraints as possible that a small to mid-size account would experience so I can't day trade, right? Because I'm limited with the pattern day trading rule, which dictates that if you have an account under $25,000, you can't day trade. I don't have margin on this account, although I might enable margin later on if I need it to show you guys how to use margin to your benefit in a less risky manner. This portfolio is not giant, so I will have to wait for funds to settle on certain transactions before engaging in new ones, which is fine and that's what I want. And I don't have the benefit of easy options plays like selling cash secured puts on most things because I don't, I simply don't have the capital for it. So again, I'm limited by a lot of constraints that, that most people would typically go through and I'm fine with that. And that is actually the point of this challenge. Now, before we get into each and every single trade, I'll show you what I've done thus far. If you get anything out of this video and or like this idea, leave it a big fat thumbs up just like this. Leave it in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts, your thoughts on the challenge and what you think of the picks so far. And one other thing, this challenge is not only limited to buying stock, I'm also trading options because one of the goals is to show you that you can responsibly trade options with not a lot of capital depending on the option strategy. So our Palantir debit call spread, for instance, we just closed this for 40%. So hoping that I can teach you guys some more complex option strategies as well through this challenge. Let's get right into the place. Here's the Palantir call debit spread that we just closed today for 40%. Other than that, I did not close any positions yet. All the positions besides that one are still open. We're up about 30% on the Go EV calls. And so far, those are the only options that I opened. You could see that we have about $5,300 left of what we call dry powder, meaning money that we keep on, on hand in case we see further drops and we deploy that. So the almost 3% that we gain on this portfolio is only on a, more, less than half of the money invested thus far, which means we've been really efficient with how we've been trading so far. In the last six days one reason that i'm doing this on Robinhood, as you see here although Robinhood is currently out of fashion is because Robinhood allows fractional investing i know some other platforms do too but the platform that i trade on usually which is thinkorswim by td ameritrade does not allow fractional investing so i'm doing this on Robinhood because things like tesla if you could see our tesla position here we don't have a whole share of tesla yet i invested five percent of my portfolio in tesla so far at 0.78 shares i'm being really strict about position sizing here to show you how a proper distribution looks like we're up almost four percent on our tesla purchase let's take a look at the rest of the plays we bought baidu which if you guys are a fan of this channel you know that Baidu below under $200, I thought was a complete overreaction on an ultra bullish stock. This is one of the best values on the market right now. 
Royal Caribbean, which is I've been talking about as a reopening play. We're currently up about four, almost 5% on this so far. QQQ, which is the NASDAQ ETF. As I've discussed, NASDAQ is the only American index that saw a correction, and I'm happy to buy NASDAQ at a 10% discount especially at the 100-day moving average. The NASDAQ is the index that contains the powerhouse of stocks, the only stocks really that can justify their current prices based on the earnings they put out, and we do have a NASDAQ earnings season coming up in May. If you've been following our continuous market updates, I was saying that in February, March, we might see somewhat of a correction, and then April, which is historically the best month to invest in stocks. I did a whole video on this, I'll link it here. And then May, we have the tech stock earnings, which will likely propel the market further and take us into the summer where we will see hopefully more reopenings and another bull rally. Now, 2022 is a different topic. That's not for this video. Chewy, which reported a net profit for the first time, recently beat out its earnings. And Chewy's all-time high price was 120. We see after these last two earnings calls, what Chewy does is they gradually move up after earnings and hopefully, post this earnings, which is the first earnings they actually reported a net profit as a company. We see the rising RSI, MACD, the on balance volume, hoping to see a return back to at least $100 We'll be happy to take 120 in the long term. So getting in Chewy early here. Nike, another retail reopening play. Palantir, which you know was underpriced at $20 or wherever we bought it. I think we bought it at 21 something. Oh no, in this case, we bought it at 22 something, up 7% on Palantir. Of course, we also had that Palantir call debit spread, which netted us 40% that we closed today because we had more than two weeks left until expiration. Didn't want to expose that position to more market risk. Happy to take massive profits on it early. We rounded out with a beaten down T-Doc, an underpriced snow in my opinion. Taiwan Semiconductors Groupon, which you know I said I would buy on any weakness. And we see Groupon here retesting the 50-day moving average after announcing a stock offering down 30% from recent highs. So not only is this a buy the dip opportunity, it is also a reopening play. Penn National Gaming, which we netted almost 6% on so far. And lastly, I think our best performer thus far is MP at over 10%. Likely going to be playing options on MP as well as it dropped post offering, tested the 100 day moving average, and it is a solid rare earth metals play at a major support level, both at the 100 day moving average and the long time support going all the way back to 2020. So there you have it guys, the 10K challenge update. Again, every single video that I do on the 10K challenge, I will leave it in the hashtag below. So be sure if you wanna follow the series, turn on notifications, subscribe to the channel. Anytime you see that, follow it. Obviously you should be watching every video anyway, but specifically for this fun challenge, if you wanna track it, look out for that hashtag and also follow every single trade that I'm doing on the Discord. As I said, I update you guys on every single trade, the exact number of shares, the exact price that I'm buying it at. And if you did everything that, that I've done since March 25th, you would have been up almost 3% already. Now, I'm not saying that obviously we can't fall from there. The market is choppy. We are not in the same market conditions that we were in 2020. As I said before, a monkey with a dartboard could have picked stocks in 2020. Everybody's a genius during a bull rally. The point of this is to showcase how you would invest in an uncertain market, how to keep dry powder on hand, how to position size accordingly, what stocks to pick, what sectors to pick, how to take advantage of certain rotations like the reopening play. And lastly, a lot of you will probably have questions like, oh, what is the goal? Like 10K to what? You wanna double your money by the end of the year? No. That is not the point of this challenge. Now, I'm going to be doing a separate options challenge, another 10K challenge with options to see how quickly we can run that account up because that is more of a risky endeavor. In this case, if you know I tell you that, hey, I wanna double my money by the end of the, of the year, then I will likely start making very irrational, erratic, and potentially risky decisions in order to hit that. I might oversize on a very risky options play and blow a quarter or half of the account. That is not the point of this, because in real life when you're investing, you don't set those lofty goals, like I wanna double my money by the end of the year. That's how you lose your shorts. And frankly, there's a, a much funner way of doing that, and it's called Vegas. The drinks are free, everyone is screaming at the craps table. It's a lot more fun than just sitting in front of your computer and trying to double your money with a few clicks. Anyway, traders, that is it for this video. If you got anything out of this video, leave it a big fat thumbs up. Leave me your suggestions below. Let me know if you really like the format, what you would do to change it. Let me know if you like the stock picks. 
I'm doing this for you guys. Subscribe to our trading group below. We have over 5,000 traders. Grateful for each and every one of you. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Stay safe out there, traders. Peace.